In recent years, our love of fashion has helped create an environmental crisis. Globally, there are enough clothes already in existence to dress the next six generations. And in the UK, we send 350,000 tonnes of clothing to landfill annually. This culture of extreme disposability is unsustainable. We need to find new ways to extend the life of our clothes. Vanish has partnered with the British Fashion Council to shine a light on a new generation at the forefront of sustainable fashion. Bringing together three of the UK's brightest, most innovative young designers to discuss how they're rethinking their approaches to the industry they love. Phoebe English faced a crisis of conscience and totally rebuilt her London-based brand. Luby Thomas combines rare antique fabrics with historical techniques to create long-lasting pieces of exquisite beauty. And Liam Hodges found fuel for his creativity in the mountains of clothing already in existence. I began to have these realizations that the planet I thought I was growing up in wasn't the reality of what the planet was and um, that we're now in a very precarious position. And then understanding the vast degree of how much the industry I myself was working in was affecting that situation. Before, I was kind of creating stuff for my own, I guess, narcissistic benefit because I thought it was funny or because I enjoyed it. Great, that's fine. But that's, that's, no, that's not good enough. Yeah, constant urge for like new things, like more, more, more. We sort of treat them like a disposable takeaway carton. I, I wonder if there really is a consumer of fashion because, yeah, we're not really consuming it, we're just buying it and then getting bored of it and getting rid of it. We've been working on this almost hyper-localism um, approach where we're using things from the walking vicinity of the studio. We do quite a lot of proactive fabric sourcing where we're approaching other companies or other design studios who might have overstock or waste or off-cut fabrics. I source fabric from like antique dealers, stuff that's like old, like stuff that people want to throw away or they think, oh, this is like, you know, it's crap or there's something wrong with it or there's rips. This is um, French uh, Matisse. It's like a linen cotton mix. Must be like 1920s, maybe a bit older. The quality of this fabric doesn't exist. Like, I mean, it does exist now, but not, it's, <laughs> you have to, it's quite hard to find. We've also done things like um, eliminate all um, fossil fuel based fabrics from the collection. So no virgin synthetic fabrics or components in our garments. Rather than telling someone they're wrong to kind of, to buy in a certain way, we're just trying to show them that this is still has intrinsically has value in it. These, this is a recycled t-shirt. The first time we did a recycled t-shirt, I took a picture of this, my t-shirt, and made it and put it on that. So it's still, this is like, it's all, it all gets very meta. Down the rabbit hole. You can think about what you already have. That's the first thing you can do. Um, it's a well-practiced verse in this area of fashion that the most sustainable clothes are the clothes we already have. It doesn't have to be this like crazy thing. It can just be like paying attention to be like, oh, what's this made of? And then you know, figuring out that like if this thing is made of something that's not good for the planet, then maybe I'll just buy the, the other option because there are other options. <laughs> I ruin clothes. I ruin trainers. I ruin clothes. But. I do sew patches on them and I do repair them and then I kind of like that. I like, like I said, I like think that's when it kind of becomes yours. And it's not like, yeah, I went to uni and studied fashion, but you can go on YouTube and work out how to fix, how to like put another piece of fabric over the top of something. Another thing we do with t-shirts is we work with shredding them to then crochet. We actually had these laser cut and that's then used as a yarn. I'm not suggesting that every single piece of clothing in the world 
should be made out of old clothes, that's probably not possible. I mean, it probably is possible, actually. We as actual clothing owners can think about our clothes as a resource and, you know, how we can um, bring new life into them to, pr to prolong their lives, to make them last longer so we're having to replace them less often. Um, and just kind of looking, them at, looking at them and valuing them in a different way. Like there was a kid on Instagram who'd, who'd like ripped his favorite pair of jeans of ours that we don't make anymore and he'd like completely fixed them with like hand embroidery and stuff. Like that's really exciting. Um, and it kind of becomes like, you know, it becomes like a, their own little collaboration with our design, which is fantastic. I do feel worried and fearful, but I also feel there is hope. Um, and the more we talk to each other and the more we share our solutions, the more hope that there can be and the more positive movement forward we can make. I'm not going to judge someone for like, you know, buying, you know, socks or boxes from like their high streets or whatever. But at the same time, like I've had an education, I've paid to learn and to acquire a certain amount of knowledge. And in my mind, it's just logical that I use that knowledge to do something different rather than doing things that already exist. Areas of the industry are ready to change and are changing. There's so many different people working in it, there's so many different brands that are part of it, that will it ever all completely be carbon neutral, zero waste or whatever? There's so many different versions of what, of what that could be. We just simply do not have the time to feel powerless. The only thing we have time for is proactive systemic change and restructuring frameworks and value systems. Um, even the smallest acts, which may seem completely futile in, to, in, the, in the face of the enormity of the problem, I feel are valid and, and really important because it's only through accumulative, accumulated small actions that we make progress.